Hi guys, welcome back to Algo Test. So our previous VWAP strategy video on the basis of our all-in-one indicator template got a lot of love, but also quite a few comments talking about how you want us to build a similar strategy using the VWAP indicator, but for buying and not selling. Well, we've heard you and we're now here with a buying strategy using the same VWAP indicator and of course, using our all-in-one custom Pine script. If you're new to our channel, we're AlgoTest and we post a lot of content about trading, whether that's algorithmic trading, discretionary trading, and so on and so forth. So make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. All right, so let's first go to TradingView. Okay, I'm on TradingView and this is the Bang Nifty Index. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this Pine editor button over here on the bottom left hand side and this loads up this screen. Now don't worry, we're not going to be writing any code. All you have to do is copy and paste. We've already written the code for you. To find the code, we've linked in the description below this page which is our AlgoTest docs page which by the way, if you're unfamiliar with any feature on the platform, the AlgoTest docs page breaks down each and every feature and tool on our platform. So make sure you do check it out. But anyway, we've linked this in the description below and this has the strategy code written all the way here and also has some textual explanation of what, what this actual Pine script code does, what you can actually create with it so on and so forth. And of course, we've created a previous video actually detailing this entire Pine script and what you can do with it and how many indicators you can actually incorporate. So if you haven't watched that video, we'll link that in the description below and you should definitely check it out. So for now, I'm gonna copy this code by clicking this button and then head back to trading view. Now over here, let's post this and click on add to chart. All right, there we go. So now you must be seeing just a blank screen and you're wondering, hey, what's going on? There's nothing I can see over here. That's because the actual inputs are not correct. So we're gonna click on this settings button over here and we're gonna be demonstrating on the Bang Nifty index, but of course you can trade whatever index you like. I'm gonna be changing the expiry date to the next expiry, which is on the 9th of October, 2024. Now there you go, you can see some data load up in the background. Now make sure that if your expiry day falls on a one digit day, basically less than 10, then you must input the zero before that digit. So for example, if I remove the zero, then I'm not gonna be seeing any data and you will be getting uh, an error. So make sure you input the zero before the nine. All right, so that's that. Now I'm going to select my strikes. The strikes I'm gonna select are 51700 call and 51700 put. This is basically a straddle, right? For the select strike, we're gonna choose combine. So we're gonna be trading a long straddle. But of course, if you want, you can do this for call only. You can do this for put only. But of course, your buy and sell indications will change accordingly. So for now, I'm gonna click on combined. Scrolling down, the indicator that we're gonna use for this video is the VWAP indicator. So let's click on that and click on OK. All right, so this of course is a long straddle strategy and this is how it's gonna work. So let's take that example of this day. This was the uh, 7th of October. So what happened is initially you had uh, a few entries and a few small stop losses, maybe five points, maybe 10 points, if that is what you can see over here at the start of the day. And that's pretty typical with a strategy like this. You're gonna have quite a few stop losses, but as you can see over here, when you do get it right, when you do get a winning trade, which is visible over here, the buy signal came somewhere here, the profit is fairly high. So the win percentage may be low, but when you do win, you seem to win, you seem to win big. So let's actually have a look at how much you would have made if you entered and exited as per the indicator. So let's assume we lost in all these entries, including brokerage and all that, somewhere around, let's call it like maybe 30 points. It's probably more than, more than you lost, but let's assume you lost around 30 points. Now over here in this buy signal, let's say you were able to enter somewhere, you know, the midpoint of this candle. And at the peak, you would have made, if you exited at the peak, you would have made around 844 points, which is about 121% return. But of course, this is not practical. That's not really gonna happen. You're not gonna time it perfectly. Let's say you exited at only half that, which is what 
the indicator is actually telling you. So the day ended over here. This blue line you see, this vertical blue line indicates end of the day. So let's say we ended it maybe 10 minutes before that or so. And this was our exit point. On the basis of that, you can see you've made 479 points. And even if you consider 79 points after brokerage, after you know the losses made by these initial entries, you can see there's like a profit around 400 points, which is fairly, fairly good, I would say. Now, before we go any further, I wanna reiterate like we do in every single video of ours, this is not a strategy recommendation. This is only and only a demonstration of how you can use the VWAP indicator to also buy options because you don't always have to sell options, right? So please keep that in mind. We want you to do your own due diligence before you trade any strategy. This is not a recommendation, just a guide to give you some idea on how you can do this. All right, so back to the video now. So this was the idea when you're gonna have a few stop losses sometimes, but when you win, you'll win big. And of course, we're also going to be incorporating an element of trailing in our strategy so that we don't have to worry about this volatility of it went all the way up and then, you know, this huge dip down and then back up. No, we don't want that. We want to avoid that as much as we can. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so now that we've got the buy and sell signals, we're obviously not going to be sitting here all day and waiting for those signals to arrive, right? We have better things to do. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to automate this entire thing. Okay, so to do that, let's head to AlgoTest. All right, I'm currently on the AlgoTest landing page and I'm going to click on go to dashboard. In the nav bar where it says signals, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on create your first signal. I'm going to click on trading view indicators, forward test, although the market is closed right now, so whatever you choose, it's not going to be possible, but we're just going to demonstrate this using forward test. Okay, so we're doing this in the bank nifty index, as I mentioned, entry time 916. Basically, whatever your entry time is, whether or not there is a buy or sell indication, none of that will be actually traded if it's before your entry time that you set in the strategy builder. So here we've said 9.16 and exit time of 3.15. We're buying the weekly expiry, one lot, call, strike type, you're gonna select exact strike, right? Exact strike is what you have to input here. So let's head back to trading view and click on the settings button. The strike that we entered here, 51,700, I'm gonna copy that. That is the exact strike we're looking for, okay? So back to algo test, let's paste that number here. Exact strike is 51,700. Add leg and this time for the put, add leg. Okay, so we've got a call and a put, a long straddle. And like I said, you can do this just for buying the call or just for buying the put, totally up to you. Anyway, so now let's add a stop loss. We're gonna add a 20% stop loss on each leg. And like I said, we don't wanna wait for the market to go up, go down and see what happens. We're gonna add an element of trailing stop loss here. And to do that, click on this button and the amount of trading that we're going to input is 5.5. Five. So every five points that the market moves in my favor, my stop loss will be trailed by five points. Okay, so that's it. That's our long straddle setup. Call put 20% stop loss on each leg and trailing it by 5.5. Five. Now let's click on save and continue. Name this as long straddle Bank Nifty. Done. Now we're gonna add a custom name for this alert. So the way I'll do it is long straddle 51700. That's how I'll name it, but you can name it whatever you want. Now what we have to do is click on save and copy and paste a few things. So just click on copy, copy this JSON block, go to trading view, click on this alert button over here, change the condition from price to all in one indicator and we're buying so we we'll click on buy once per bar alert name as long straddle entry again you can name this whatever you want in this message section we have to paste what we just copied right we copied over here if you want I can just copy it again head back to trading view in the message section just delete it and I'm pasting it again that's what we copy and paste back to algo test Click on I have pasted. Now copy the webhook URL, head back to trading view. Under the notifications tab, where it says webhook URL, delete this and just paste what you just copied. Then click on create and you're done. That's it. Your entry leg is created. 
So now whenever there is a buy signal, your long straddle will be traded. All right, so we have two kinds of exit signals. The first one is a stop loss, right? We've set a 20% stop loss trailed by five points, five points. That is one exit signal. The other one is on the basis of the actual indicator where it says sell, basically, or if the day ends. And in order for that to happen, we have to actually create the sell signal as well. Let's see how to do that. Head back to AlgoTest, click on add exit alert, name this as long straddle exit or whatever you want to name it. Click on save, copy the JSON block once again, back to trading view, add alert, change it from price to all in one. And this time we have to make the condition as sell, right? Once per bar, name this as long straddle exit signal. And in the message section, paste the JSON block that you copy. Now back to algo test, click on I have pasted, copy the webhook URL, head on over to trading view again. And under the notifications tab, where it says webhook URL, just like we did last time, get rid of this and just paste the webhook URL. Now click on create, back to algo test. If you want, you can also limit the number of entry signals you want. So if I change this to maybe eight, in a single day, a maximum of eight entries will be taken. For now, I'm gonna switch this off, but because like I said, when you win, you'll win big in this strategy, but when you lose, it'll be small stop losses, generally speaking. Then I click on start listening, and currently the market is closed, so this is not going to be actually listening for a signal, but if the market was open, it would be waiting for this buy signal to come, and then the trade would be executed. If I wanted, I could also convert this into a live trade by clicking on more here on the bottom right section and clicking on move signal to live trade. Additionally, you can also edit max instances and change this to what we discussed earlier. Now, once again, guys, an important point that I wanna add, like we talked about earlier, this is only a strategy demonstration and not a recommendation because the tool that we provided you here is extremely powerful. You can add a multitude of indicators. You can trade straddles, strangles, combined premium, a single call or a single put, multiple indices, whatever you like. We urge you to not blindly replicate this strategy in your accounts, but use it as a framework to build other long straddle or maybe even short straddle or strangle strategies. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Just like in the last VWAP selling video, we hope you showed this video a lot of love as well because we listened to exactly what you wanted and we gave you a buying VWAP strategy. If you did like the video, please subscribe to our channel, leave a like on the video and share this video with your friends.